Father, you came all this way from Russia to find the Holy Grail? Yes. Technically, like Catholicism, Holy Grail is heretical. But this is no time for dogma. Each must do all he can to save planet. An update on the Tunguska offensive. As previously reported, the EDF front has been pushed back. We now know the troops will be called to participate in an attack on Angarsk, which was aimed at the destruction of a portal. We lost some ground, but at least now the Giant metal space snake. Yep. Oh, I see. Good. That's good. the Lord and pass the ammunition. This is Bill Corwin, and today I want to talk to you about Earth, our home. I was sitting in the studio today and eating a ration bar. And let me tell you, as ration bars go, it wasn't bad. I actually tasted of, you know, food, but it got me thinking, this is my life now, all our lives. The ration bars, the recycled water, the air raid sirens. Mental hasn't been here all that long, really. And already, we're forgetting what it's like to be human. What made life on Earth so great? What we're fighting for. So let's change that. Let's remember. I'll try to make that a daily thing from now on. Thoughts on why we need to turn this around. Memories of why life is great. For now, let's start off easy with a piece of music from the good old days. Uh. 
And now, for a short editorial. Who is Lord Ackerman? He's pretty evil, that much is clear, but who is he really? Who is he when he goes home and puts down the death? I'll tell you what I think he is. He's a bully. If you take away his armies, his ships, his propaganda drones, then he's just Jerry Duberman. That's right. He used to beat me up in fourth grade because I was short. Seem like Jerry Duberman, he's going to find out that the kid who should have been you is simply in a better position to punch you in the crotch. Yeah, Duberman, I hope it still hurts. Because that's what we do with We take him down a peg. You have found the Syrian artifact of might. I theorize that the cloud of nanoparticles contained within can grant powerful new skills. However, the human brain may not be... You inhaled it, didn't you? Yep. Uh, of course you did. I must reload! Oh, fudge nuggets! I got something in my shoe! Das 
туда-ст! Son, there are people up there. They need our help. We'll have your back, sir. I will pray for you. Since you have the shotgun, can you shoot and I'll pray? As you wish. Welcome to Rome, friend! How do you like it? Love the food. Hate the traffic. Traffic? Well, my convoy got blown up. Still better than before the war. Your neighbors are noisy. Yes, but the view is wonderful. brings you to Rome? Oh, the usual. Saving the planet. Ah, uh, you should talk to Massimo. This is also his hobby. what I call raising the roof. Thank you, my friend. Uh, I think we have been fighting every day since the city was invaded. We... Massimo. Massimo! No! He... He is dead. Sorry. I saw him fight. He was a real badass. But how... How can he be dead? He is Massimo Murena, the hero of the Italian resistance, the spirit of Roma. Is that really how his story ends? It does not seem right. We never get to retire, do we? What's your name? Paolo. Nope. Your name is Massimo Murena. It is? Yep, that's you. Massimo Morena, hero of the Italian resistance, got it? But... who died? Some guy called Paolo, just a brave, ordinary Roman. But Massimo Morena will take revenge, won't he? I... Uh, it's what he would have wanted. Take this, my friend. A gift from Massimo Morena.
And now a message from Lord Akraman. I hope you were successful, my son. You win some, you lose some. Can't tell which one this was. Today, I would like to urge you to consider the subject of hope. Hope is an intellectual anomaly common in the lower species. A primitive belief that somehow, against all odds, the inevitable uh. can be averted. This self this disease is deeply rooted in your culture. Your myths, your legends, all your grand... I sense evil presence. Is your priest sense tingling? No, I just see pale corpses and floating objects. Sir, it's an organ hemophore. It's a fucking vampire, Kenny! Suckers! Let's go up here, son. Uh-oh. Sounds like we're about to have company. I am reloading. <laughs> You are frightened! Ah, forgive me. I almost made stairway to heaven joke. You are forgiven, father. Oh, wow! What a lovely view! Planet Earth, baby! There's no place like it. This is Bill Corwin, bringing you Memories of Earth. A few of our listeners left us messages about what they miss from the old days. Here's one now. Bubble baths. There, I said it. I miss bubble baths.
You shall reap what you have sown. Sometimes I wish I was back in university. Of course, it exploded and then fell out of orbit. So I guess this is safe by comparison? Y'all want to bite me? Come get your Chile con carne! What he said. Sam, nice to see you in one piece. Yeah, yeah. Never been so glad to see your ugly face, cabron. Hey, where's the rookie? I really wish I had a gun! Catch! Oh, I, I lost my shoe. Nice shot! Crap, one-liner though. I wasn't trying to do a one-liner. I lost my shoe? Dude, that doesn't even make sense. Should have said surprise. Just as you turned around. That would have been sweet. I was just trying to survive. I wasn't... This is triple A, boy. You gotta survive with style. See, a good one-liner would have been... Uh, can we do this later? This looks like a combat situation. Oh, I'm on turn. 
as well die. Please? Is that the call of the Palophylax Barrigari, the Italian pool frog? I thought they were extinct. So, Kenny, you should have gone for an eye joke. Always good with Gnar. I see you. I bet you can see that coming. That's the last of them, sir. Hey, Kenny! I got a good one for you! Rag Gnar Rock! <laughs> that does not work. Huh? Better than I lost my shoe! Mm. I lost my shoe! This is over. I go for a holiday on the Mission Coast. Hey, Kenny! You come up with a good one-liner yet? Or are you still waiting for the other shoe to drop? Rodriguez, cut him some slack. He's new. He'll learn.
Okay, time to break out the big guns. What, the minigun? But that's Hellfire's. You know what she's like about people taking her stuff. Nah, she won't mind if I take it. That bad. Be my guest. Hey, Jones. Remember when we killed that wizard in Tokyo? Technically speaking, it was a Baptist, but he died just the same. is an ex-snake. Technically speaking, it's an ex-basilisk. Shut up, Rodriguez! Did you miss me? You're right on time. Hey, Carter! What's new? Did you know this exact same model of bus was used in the assassination attempt on the Italian Prime Minister's personal ufologist in 2052? Now, most people say it was the Illuminati, but I'm pretty sure it was the CIA. Your tax money at work! Why did I even ask? Ladies and gentlemen, the express bus to anywhere but here is now departing. Want me to drive? I don't trust your driving, Stone. Remember what happened in Oslo? Hey, that nun came out of nowhere. You know what's funny? Today's my birthday. Damn, I didn't get you a present. Ezekiel went to the Valley of Bones. And the Lord said to him, Can these bones live? And Ezekiel said, O oh Lord, they will obey your commands. And that's how you do it. Thank you for rescuing me, friends. You're welcome, Father. But we still need to get you into the Vatican Library. All right, team. Give me some options. Rome's sealed tighter than a virgin's buttocks. Uh, sorry, Padre. Um, uh, wheels are out. Hellfire, what about wings? No way! It's like the annual Octanian Raider convention up there. Fräulein Hellfire is correct. Unless Vesuvius were to erupt, enemy control of the airspace will remain absolute. Yes! Yes! That's it! But we'll use Vesuvius! 
just like in 2010, when they used HARP to trigger that volcano in Iceland and brought down all air traffic in Europe to stop the Illuminati from getting out of Belgium. Ridiculous! The HARP is the High Frequency Active Aurora Research Program. It is not an earthquake machine. Now, oh, well, that's what they want you to think. Nonsense! I would know about such a device. Actually, it is an earthquake machine. Verdammt! Uh, wait, I'm right? Yes, I knew it. And now he'll never shut up. Thanks. We called it Project Rock and Roll. A powerful experimental weapon designed to provoke seismic activity. It hasn't been used in years. But I've got the access codes. But sir, the targeting system is down. We need to manually place beacons to realign the satellite. Then the team just won an all-expenses-paid trip to beautiful Pompeii. It's crazy. It's impossible. I love it. Let's do it. Sam, I need the team to place eight beacons. I've uploaded the target locations to your Nitrixa. Okay, guys. All we need to do is take these doodads to their designated locations. Rodriguez, you go north. Kenny, west. Jones, do the stadium. I'll take care of the south. And you know the drill. Last one back pays for drinks tonight. Yep. On it. Moving out. <sighs> I'll be in the car.